Blake and Raleigh was murdered by Jose Ibarra, who was in this country illegally. Biden couldn't pronounce Riley's name properly, but he made sure to apologize for calling Ibarra illegal. Because, you know, we shouldn't say illegal immigrant. We have to say undocumented. You know what? I can't do this. I will let Amandla, my alter ego, take over from here. I was so proud of Biden when he apologized and corrected himself. Let's watch this real quick. But during your response to her heckling of you, you used the word illegal when talking about the man who allegedly killed um, uh, Lake and Riley. An undocumented person. And I shouldn't have used illegal. I should, it's undocumented. And look. This shows such humility and character. Let's face it. Our racist laws specifically and disproportionately target poor communities of color. And then some people end up breaking them, like undocumented migrants are here illegally. But by referring to them as illegal, we remind them about the laws that they're breaking and we're making them feel bad. And that's just wrong. So I will take Biden's lead and encourage everyone to be nice and try to not use language that is triggering or upsetting. I have a whole list of words here. Robbers, prostitutes, burglars, murderers, blackmailers, human traffickers, drug dealers, and so forth. We use these words to refer to certain individuals, but those individuals have feelings and we don't realize how much negativity, bigotry, shame, and hate go along with labels. Being humane means not focusing on innocent people getting murdered. It means being respectful towards people who murder them and commit other kinds of crime. So here's the challenge. Let's try to think of some alternative terminology and let's try to incorporate it into our everyday use. So obviously we could refer to prostitutes as sex workers. Um, how about other damaging labels? Robbers could be property seizers. Human traffickers could be accompanying services. Drug dealers could be traders of chemical substances. If you think of other substitutes, please mention them in the comments. We need to start removing the stigma that comes with breaking all kinds of laws, not just undocumented immigration. But that's just the first step. Once we remove the stigma, from crime, we can start removing the crime part out of crime. It's society's fault that people commit so-called crimes. The most progressive states recognize that and are therefore lenient. They allow people to shoplift, for example. There are videos all over the internet showing oppressed individuals stealing essentials like plasma screen TVs and designer bags. And this is a brilliant tactic to bring down crime rates. Because when crime doesn't count as crime anymore, then crime rates go down. Oh, and you know, another great example of removing unnecessary stigma through alternative terminology, the MAPS community is doing it very well. You know the MAPS, the minor attractive people? Together, we will make this world a better place.